so Isa, I've read that you usually lean on comedy with your work, so I'm curious with a romantic drama like this, what did you find yourself leaning on that was new that maybe you could take on to future projects? Um, I leaned on my laurels, I leaned on my private parts, and my heart. I like that. I feel like everyone should take that motto into whatever they do, acting or Thank not. Thank you. Uh, for both of you, I know that you didn't have all that much rehearsal time on this project. Is that something that you find exciting, just jumping into something, or do you prefer to have the rehearsal time before you uh, start your scenes? It just depends on what we're doing. The more technical stuff, I think it's nice to have nice preparation, so that way you're not fumbling all over the place. Uh, but for some things, <clears throat> some things I require just a sort of a heart interaction. I like to play around with, uh, or comedy type things. It's nice to just kind of throw stuff out there sometimes, see what you find. So, you know, it just depends on the circumstance for me. Yeah, and I think it was something like this. You're getting to know the person in real life and on screen. And so using that to inform the relationship is helpful too. So I, I find that fun. I have to ask you in particular about working it with the uh, the two young co-stars that you have in that one scene because it got the biggest laugh for me and I think the biggest laugh throughout the entire theater. So when you're shooting a scene like that, is it mostly improvising or are all of those comedic beats kind of timed out perfectly where you know them going in? Uh, that was all scripted, I'm pretty sure. The, the girls were wonderful. They were so precious. And yeah, I think they just... They had the comedic timing. They're There's so one cut so cute. That that whole stuff in the in the the apartment with uh, so Lil Rel just spot on across the board. So much fun to shoot. That was they improv. All, all that, right, I figured sure. with him. Right. Yes. <laughs> so do you like uh, do you like improvisation? Are you yeah. able to keep up with him? Because well, he seems like I'm he's not quite that <laughs> fast, but I do like it. <laughs> he's something I mean, else. It's it's much more fun when you're doing people with people like him. We're just yeah. naturally just hilarious and. And very like sometimes it's hard to focus. That's how you know it's good. So now I have to ask you about your Joker comments because <laughs> I firmly believe you could do absolutely anything you set your mind to it. And if I have to keep talking about it to will this idea into existence, I'm going to do it. So if you had the opportunity to star in a new Joker movie, what would you bring to the character that we have yet to see on the big screen? Well, I'm so. Um... I'm, I'm glad that you'd be a patron. I hope you feel the sincerity in that <laughs> comment because no, I, I believe. No, I do. No, thank you very much. I think what I bring to it would uh, have a lot to do with who I collaborate with and how the story's written and what world we exist in. And then I'll go do my do my little magic. Anyone in mind you would want to collaborate with from a, a directing standpoint? Man, there's so many that come yeah. along. Hey, wouldn't it be crazy if me and the Safties did something like that? Ooh. I'm not going to get that out of my head now. I have to find a, a reason to interview them again so I could put this in their mind. Y'all hear me? It's oh, been made right here. I want to see that happen. Um, so this movie is largely about a photograph and just the history and the meaning that comes from that one photograph. We have phones with thousands of photographs. So two questions. First, I want to know what is the thing on your phone that you have the most photographs of? Is it family, food, pets, selfies, mm. you name it? Uh, right now it's a lot of niece and nephew pictures. Yeah, they. I, I always hit my family group shut up because my all my siblings, with the exception of one, have kids now, and I'm always like, y'all send them up, like do a better job. Come on, <laughs> it's a special thing. Yeah, I was just gonna say, my baby. Yeah. Good answers. Uh, do you have a most meaningful photo? My baby. <laughs> oh, um, a most meeting mo meaningful photo. That's too hard. I have too many photos around the house, and I just started printing photos again. Mm -hmm. So that's been really exciting, but deciding which ones go up are challenging. Are, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I got one of them digital diary things now, so sometimes the weirdest things can have sentimental value depending on what was happening at the time. What is a digital diary? Uh, it's like a diary you can download. It's like an app, and you just like... You know, you can update it every day. It's easier for me than having a physical one. Oh, that's dope. And you can just put pictures in, and the pictures can take you back to that time. And so, like, I got pictures of just, like, a cup, and I'll be like, oh, that's that night. <laughs> <laughs>